So you may have seen all the hype about apple cider vinegar and how it can cure pretty much any disease out there. Let's discuss the most common myths about apple cider vinegar and I'll give you my recommendation at the very end about whether I recommend apple cider vinegar for your health and for your gut health as well. Guys, let's talk about food. Howdy, I'm Dr. Islam here, aka your poop guru and gut microbiome expert. I'm a board certified gastroenterologist trained at the Mayo Clinic, and my passion is to give you the best tips and tricks to help out with your health. If you haven't already, come see us at Gastro, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So, myth number one apple cider vinegar can actually help normalize or stabilize your blood sugar. I've seen this a lot on the internet about some of the benefits about apple cider vinegar. In fact, people claim this is the reason why you can actually lose weight when it comes to using apple cider vinegar. Now, there are some small studies which do suggest that taking a shot of apple cider vinegar can help normalize those blood sugars. And this is actually true and actually can help out in the pre-diabetic stage. However, once again, this is not a substitute for actually controlling your diabetes in the more traditional way, including diet and exercise, especially pre-diabetes. Now this may be an added supplement we can use to help out, but don't use this as a substitute for things that are tried and true. In fact, I would recommend it is better to actually focus on the things that do work, eating right, exercising and doing things like that as opposed to just using apple cider vinegar. However, if you want to consider adding this, there is some benefit, but always make sure to speak to your healthcare doctor. Myth number two, it's a heartburn cure. I've seen this a lot. In fact, I've had patients myself who use apple cider vinegar to help out with their heartburn. But let me tell you, there is not enough research for that. In fact, adding vinegar, which is acid to your stomach can actually make things worse. I would never recommend this. Here's the thing. Why would you want to add more acid to a stomach that already produces acid? There is no evidence for this whatsoever. And I see a lot of people on TikTok, social media, Instagram, and YouTube who are using this as a recommendation. There is no way this is going to help out. Now, there's an idea out there in the naturopathic world. The reason you have acid reflux is because you have too little acid. Now, there are some conditions we see that can lead to too little acid, things like H. pylori or autoimmune diseases. This is not true. There are countless studies, thousands of studies using medications like Nexium, Protonix, or PPIs, which can be used to help control acid reflux and heal the esophagus. There are zero studies out there about using apple cider vinegar as a treatment for things going on inside your gut. And let me tell you, I've done thousands of upper endoscopies on millions of patients and what I see in there with my own eyes, which is probably the best test for me, is that those individuals who take apple cider vinegar, their gut is out of a whack. They have more irritation, more ulcers, and more irritation. And vice versa, those patients that take the PPIs or medications like that for symptoms like reflux or ulcers, their esophagus gets healed completely. Period. End of story. And there actually is a study that apple cider vinegar has been shown to slow down the motility of your gut, leading to a condition similar to what's called gastroparesis. And when your stomach doesn't move, this can cause acid to accumulate in the stomach that cause irritation and inflammation to occur. Next myth, apple cider vinegar can help treat Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. Now, if you've gotten this far in the video, you know that I'm not a fan of apple cider vinegar for GERD or reflux. And so you know for a fact, I am not a fan of using this for inflammatory bowel disease. Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. This doesn't even make sense. Apple cider vinegar, if you do take it, will get absorbed in your stomach. Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are diseases typically of the small intestine and the colon. And there is no way the effect or the supposed effect of using apple cider vinegar can affect your small intestine and can affect your colon. There's absolutely no way. It makes no sense. Furthermore, it doesn't detoxify your body to get rid of some of the toxins that can lead to Crohn's disease or colitis. Now there are other things I recommend to my patients that are natural who have IBD, but apple cider vinegar for sure is not one of them. Next myth, apple cider vinegar can help out with skin disease. Now if you Google this, you will see a lot of people claiming that once again, apple cider vinegar can cure all skin diseases, eczema, psoriasis, dry skin, whatever, even maybe acne. It can make you look like a model. Let me tell you, if you use apple cider vinegar on your skin for these diseases, your skin will be on fire and it will hate you for the rest of your life. It will make things worse. It can exacerbate or make these conditions a lot more difficult to treat. There are no studies to suggest that apple cider vinegar can be used on your skin and that it can help out with skin issues. So absolutely no way. 
So here's what you need to know about apple cider vinegar just in general. So far, we've seen a little bit of evidence in the pre-diabetic world, but otherwise, all the other claims that are out there, and I've done the work, I've done the studies, I've read the research, does not show any benefit for that. Now, there may be people out there who say, oh yes, it cured my acid reflux. Oh yes, it cured my skin. Oh yes, I have low acid and it makes things better. I'm gonna tell you, anecdotes don't lead to real actual evidence from medicine. I like to give you information that's real fact-based and science-based because I can tell you anything that's out there and say, hey, yeah, smear urine on your face and all of a sudden your acne's gonna be cured. But you shouldn't take that as faith because there's no evidence for that. And I can tell you there's no way I'm ever going to recommend something like that or something that does not have actual clinical evidence to it. Even though apple cider vinegar may seem harmless or your grandmother may recommend it, let me tell you, there are a lot of evidence to suggest it doesn't work but also can cause harm as well. In my 10 years of practice, I've never seen anyone long term get any benefit of using apple cider vinegar. Now there are other foods that are out there that can help out, things like turmeric, fish oil, and ginger, which actually has evidence behind it. But no way and no how has there been any studies at all in the 20 plus years of me actually studying GI and studying medicine. Have I seen any evidence for that? And in my 10 years of actual practice, have I ever seen someone recommend apple cider vinegar for their gut issues? So in summary, I don't recommend this. Don't use it. It doesn't help out. And there's no way it's going to make you feel better as well long term. Guys, well, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and newsletter where you can get great tips and tricks like you're learning in today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks, everyone.